Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're trying to find the area of ACF. So that's the area of this reddish triangle. We're also given that this is a rectangle and that ABC, which is this triangle, is congruent to AEC, which is this triangle up here. So these two are congruent as well. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. So how do we approach this? I'm just going to go freestyle and try to find everything I can. First thing I'm noticing is this right triangle. So we can make this side C and do Pythagorean theorem. Well, three squared plus four squared is equal to C squared. Three squared is equal to nine. Four squared is equal to 16. And then we can bring down the C squared. Nine plus 16 is equal to 25. So we have 25 is equal to C squared. To solve for C, we can square root both sides. Square root of 25 is five and square root of C squared is C. So now we figured out that this C is equal to five. And we can give it a label of meters to match these other ones. What should we do next? Okay, I know what to do next. In a rectangle, opposite sides are congruent, so this side is also equal to four. ABC is congruent to AEC. This order of these letters is very important. Since the first two letters of this are AB and the first two letters of this are AE, we know side AB is congruent to side AE. So we know that this AB is equal to AE, which means we can label that as four meters. And we also know since the second letter is B and this second letter is E, that angle B is equal to angle E. So since angle B is a right angle, that means this angle E is also a right angle. So these congruent triangles give us quite a bit of info. Next, let's focus on these two triangles. This angle and this angle are both congruent because they're vertical angles. And now we know that angle AFE is congruent to CFD. That's what we just found with the vertical angles. We know that angle E is equal to angle D because they're both right. And we know that AE is congruent to CD because they're both equal to four. Therefore, we can conclude that these two triangles are congruent. And that's using the angle-angle side theorem. Any two triangles where you have a corresponding angle, angle, and a side, those two triangles have to be congruent. And now we have another congruent statement. So looking at these first two letters and these first two letters, we know that segment AF is equal to segment CF. That means that this AF is equal to this CF. And since we know CF is five, that means we know this is five. And now we're pretty much done. Let's get rid of this stuff. And if you look at our red triangle, we have a base and we have a height. And give me a second, I'll make this easier to see. So there we go. Now we can see the base is five and the height is four. And if it's easier, we can flip this. So here's the base of five and the height of four. The area of a triangle is equal to one half base times height. We can plug in five for the base and plug in four for the height. And one half times five times four is equal to 10. So the area of this red triangle is 10 meters squared. This is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. And here's the next problem I'm gonna work on. I'll post the video as soon as I finish. How exciting.